So, Jack, we found some wildlife. What did we find? We found a spurred tortoise. All right. I can tell it's spurred by its feet. Right? Yep. We're just a little, we don't want to disturb him too much or... <laughs> I shouldn't say get bit. I don't think he's not a snapper, but still. Yeah. But yeah, it's the first turtle we've seen. So I don't know if they're going to have turtle soup later or not, but he's definitely going for a ride. And this is Tetchy's, or should they, the ODI, Epsonic. And we're going to talk to Tetchy and see if he can bring it down the trail or have somebody bring it down the trail to us to uh, give us a ride. So hopefully we'll be riding in this soon. All right, so we are still on the ODI land. That's where the does are. They moved down the trail a little bit. There's a tree. They're going to um, charcoal. This is somebody else's corn that they put in. We're just waiting for them to make sure it's all harvested. Hopefully, if I zoom in a little bit, they're farther down the trail than I am. We have a small trail that we're following. But I'm trying to give you a little bit of idea how much land has been cleared already. Boy, we would heard maybe 100 acres. I think we're pushing uh, 60, 70, maybe 80 acres. There's quite a chunk here that's been cleared already. And it's only the 8th of January. The band's trying to do some GPSing to kind of figure it out, but uh, this is good. I mean, they're doing a good job and uh, we are excited about the opportunity. We're heading down the trail now to hopefully find or to actually look, have Kudum show us where the Gus land could be. So I'll give you more video in a bit. All right, so Cal is our marker. So there's the ODI marker. Cal is showing us that we are on the south edge of the farm. And if you point towards Van, that goes to the northeast corner. Yep, does that make sense? We're kind of the southeast corner. Yep. Yep. So ask Tetchy if there's another marker. Is there another ODI marker that way? There is. Okay. So we're not we're on the south edge then. It's not the southeast corner. Does that make sense, man? Yeah. Yep. So this is a land that'd be an easy clear. I mean there's probably fifty acres in here or more that somebody's farmed at one time that doesn't have a lot of big trees. That's gonna be an easy clear. You enjoying your Epsonic trike ride? Kind of. It's kind of rough, it's but, it's, but it's better than walking. Yeah. Yeah, it's better than walking. Uh, yeah. All right, Tetchy's ready to go to work. Yeah. Yeah. So, what have we done, Van? We've been walking. <laughs> We've been looking at uh, land down where the division between the ODI land and what Gus is going to try to purchase. All right. No, nope, it's been a good day. Everybody still here with us? You know it. <laughs> All right. Kudum's been showing us the land. Thank you very much. It's been good. It's been very good. But it's a nice D7 high track. New almost. All right. We are walking back after we got done with our trike bike or trike ride. About a half an hour or so. They even have a backup voice that says, backing up, backing up. We're making our whales way across the field to where the pickups are. I will take more video in a minute. We're heading across somebody's uh, corn that they did second season. Yellow corn. What do you think, man? How many around? Ten, 12? 14. 14, yep. Yeah. No, fer no fertilizer, no weed control. Yep. Looks like popcorn. Yep. Yeah. But uh, yeah. But it grew corn. It with grew all corn. This, with yeah. All this stuff against it, so we'll do better. All right, we are at the ODI land. There's one of the posts that marks the land, but this is not the ODI land. The marker points in towards the land. So I don't want to scare you. That is not the ODI land. There's no mangoes there, right? We planted a couple mangoes a few no, videos ago. They didn't grow. All right. But now we'll swing around. This is the ODI land. So definite difference between how we're farming and that next to us. We are excited about the uh, good wheat control. 
The corn looks good. Do you want to go in and somebody pull back an ear? Just to kind of show us, kind of leave it on the stock if we can. But just kind of, I'm going to come around you a little bit. Yep. You can take all these off if you want, but actually, I'm going to have you pull it right off because we want to count. So Jack is husking it. Pick up the turn around. This is on the edge. Hey, hey Van. What do you think? Huh. If we'd had 28,000 of them, oh, we, we would uh, we'd hit a yield goal. We would blow through our yield goal. Yep. So, do you want to crack it in half? See how many around? You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Let the agronomist do it. Let the agronomist do it. I was, we were wondering how many times around you were going to go, Jack. Well, he was up to 17 or 18, and that's was, 18. Oh, it is. Yeah. There we go. We will give you that one, Jack. Your blood Iowa kid right here. There you go. Home. You know your corn. How dry does it seem? That's kind of the big question. You can chew it. It's not good. Yeah. I mean, it's not dry yet. I mean, it's not. It's not 12. No. It tastes better than Iowa corn. So, can we bring enough to do a moisture sample? Oh yeah, we could, we could show enough. Okay, so I'm gonna stop the video.